Hi everybody, Professor Henry here, and I wanted to take some time to explain exactly what a polyrhythm is, or polyrhythmic texture. Polyrhythms and polyrhythmic textures are used quite a bit in sub-Saharan African music, as well as in a lot of African American popular music styles. And essentially what a polyrhythm is, to give you a simplistic definition, it's two or more rhythmic patterns playing simultaneously. And generally, these rhythmic patterns have different pulses, right? So pulses being the speed and the grouping of rhythms over time. So if you remember earlier in the semester, we talked about um, a 3-4 pulse, similar to a waltz. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We have this constant pattern and grouping of three. But then very commonly in popular music, we use 4-4 four, four time. So one, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In a polyrhythmic texture, what happens is that these multiple pulse groupings, right, or rhythmic layers get added on top of each other to create these very unique complex rhythmic patterns that serves as the underpinning of a lot of sub-Saharan African music. So let's take a listen. What I have here is a polyrhythmic pattern generator. And what this does is it allows me to isolate individual pulses and emphasize some, de-emphasize others to create these unique polyrhythmic patterns. So let me click play and we'll hear one polyrhythmic pattern and then we'll deconstruct that and listen to the individual pulses. So right now that may sound like one unified rhythmic pattern but in reality, we have several rhythmic play layers um, adding on top of each other. I'll play a little more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove many of these layers so that way we can just hear one and add several layers back in. So let me remove everything but the grouping of three, right? So we'll hear a pattern of a rhythmic pattern that groups the beats into groups of three. Moving two, moving one, moving four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So we just have a grouping of three. Now let's add a grouping of four alongside this and we're going to start to hear the polyrhythmic interplay. So hopefully you can hear the but, the gut, Da, ba, ga, da, ba, ga, da, da, ga. Again, that sounds like one composite rhythm, which is what it is, but in reality, it's two different patterns combined together. So let me pull down the three pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now I'll add three back in. And let's add two. Add some one. And then we'll do a grouping of six. And I can de-emphasize some, emphasize others. And we can get pretty crazy here. Let's add a pattern of seven.
So for the most part, that's how polyrhythms work. Um, This is how different groupings of people fit in rhythm with one another, interlock, right? And create this very unique rhythmic groove and complex rhythmic texture. So listen out for that, the multiple layers of rhythmic pulses um, in the examples that I provide this week for sub-Saharan African musical aesthetics and characteristics. All right, that's it for now, and stay tuned.